Let's repot some tomatoes. I've got about 50 to do, so let's get started. I'm starting out here by cutting a really nice sized draining hole in the bottoms of these cups. I've just found that that works best for me. Um, you're gonna go ahead and stabilize your stems and then squish around the cup and pull out your root ball. These guys were just slightly root bound, so you see me here kind of loosening those bottom roots. Once you're ready to separate your plants, you're gonna go ahead and find the middle of the two stems and kind of push down the center. Uh, and then you're going to kind of shimmy those two sides apart and you'll find that they kind of just fall apart. We're gonna do that just one more time since there's two plants here and I would like them separated. I've added a little bit of soil to the bottom of this cup and firmed it down just so that not all the soil's falling out the bottom as I'm trying to repot this plant. Go ahead and hold your stem kind of in the center of the cup and then backfill. Once I have a good amount of soil around that plant, I like to use a tucking motion to firm that plant into the cup. Remember to leave about an inch to a half inch space of header space uh, from the soil line to the top of the cup so that you have room to water. And that's it, there's really not much to it. Um, I did about 50 plants this day. It took a good portion of my day, um, but yeah, really not a lot to repotting tomatoes. As always, don't forget to label your plants. And of course, I had to include some clips of me and my daughter repotting plants. She loves to help me with everything related to the garden, and I absolutely love it. Thank you.